I bought this before canyons. It's like you can put ice in here. So actually that was really nice when it gets warm because you can start eating uh, ice from the hat as well like when you get really thirsty. I will have flasks of forestry, electrolytes, and pick up gels when I meet my crew. Maybe I will put some of my own sports drink in powder to bring so I can fill up with water in some of the aid stations. Where I don't have my crew, I will rely on aid stations or to bring some extra gels when I can meet them. I bought some arm sleeves, so also keeps you cool. You can wet them or put ice in them. It's like an ice bandana also if it gets really warm. You're supposed to wet them and then like it keeps you a little bit colder. And I also thought like maybe I can put some ice in here and have... Actually, I never tried it. You should, you should always try everything before in the race, but that's really not me. So I am usually try something new in when I'm actually racing and see if it works or not. And then I probably will get annoyed. In Thailand, I tried this like ice banana for the first time and I just hated it. Just throw it off and put it in my belt. And I guess it's the same with these ones. They are not big, so it's just to throw them off if they if I get annoyed with them. Of course, I need to pick up a headlamp in the end. I'm not going to be so fast as I finish before it gets dark, so but hopefully not too long with the headlamp, maybe an hour and a half, two hours at the most. But I need to remember to pick this one up at uh, Forest Hill. The shoes I'm gonna wear, I'm a little bit undecided. These are the shoes that the new Nord like I'm gonna wear most of the race, but now since it seems really snowy and maybe wet and slippery at the first 30 miles, I'm thinking of running in the pure trail shoe to have a little bit, yeah, more stability and better technical downhill, and then change in uh, Robinson Flat. But these are the two shoe options I have, and uh, I will mostly be running in these ones. This is the perfect, more technical terrain trail shoe. It has a better grip under uh, the whole sole here. It's lower drop, and it's also lower, a little bit closer to the ground. It's not as high stack on the sole here. So this one can take more technical and muddy terrain, like maybe it will be in the high country, since it's a wet year. And then I think this shoe is actually the perfect one for the Western uh, trail terrain. Dry and it's easy trail, it's really runnable the whole time. So you want to have a little bit more cushioning and you want to have a little bit nicer ride because it's some flat sections and you want to be able to run really fast downhill without screwing up your feet. But then like it's not the whole sole with grip and not so deep either, so it's not really meant to like stick on super wet or technical terrain. So that's why I might switch shoes in, in Robinson Flat. And then if it gets really warm and ice hat, me, Manu and David Laney found the in Auburn before the canyons because it was supposed to be really warm. I actually think canyons was warmer than Western States. So this one saved the three of us and it's really nice. You can put ice in here. Yes, not like too much. At some aid stations they filled up the entire thing of this and then it gets like super heavy and you can't run with it because it's standing up like this. <laughs> but I really liked it because it's also like when you run out of water or get really thirsty, I could start to eat ice from the top here and or put in my bra or something. So it was actually, yeah, really good to have. I would pick it up and use it again, I think, in these canyons and where it gets really exposed. I mainly rely on sugar. Like when I started running ultras, I thought I would eat more stuff, but I noticed actually, usually I'm breathing so hard when I'm racing and so tired, so chewing is hard. It's, I want it to go as quick as possible. And then gels and sports drink is perfect because I get in sugar. I do that a lot. And usually I pick up electrolytes or sports drink instead of water just to get extra calories as well. When I can't see my crew, I will just fill up on the aid stations, what they have. With my crew, I will have, yeah, sports drink uh, to mix. I bought some sports drink, extra electrolytes, double the dose because I need more salts and stuff. 
I bought some just lemonade sugar. This was what I heard from the marathon runner, Cam Levens. He drank that in marathons and I was like, oh, that seems good if it's maybe you can crash with ice or something. I never drink Coke otherwise, but in races, a cold Coke can be so nice in the end of races. And then gels. I'm not a person that go with one brand. I'm usually like, yeah, just get gels from whoever has a gel sponsor or uh, buy some random gels. The only thing I'm against, if it's too thick gels, they need to be easy to swallow there as well. Uh, that's the thing for me, everything that's easy to eat. <laughs> when I'm running, I don't like stopping at the station. That's a, a good one. So I have some screen gels and some other brand here. I just tried and they were easy to get down. And I know they have the goose at the aid station. I don't really like that consistent, but I probably need to pick up some when I'm out. And also I bought some with caffeine because I think in the long race, it's nice to Maybe not take too much, but once in a while you need that extra pick me up, and especially towards the end as well. So I also have some uh, gels with uh, caffeine. And that will be it, like a bunch of sugar. And maybe if it, towards the end I was thinking, oh, maybe I need to give my crew like some chips or olives or pickles or something like that, because sometimes you get just really tired of all the sweet stuff and then you can start over again. Thanks,